Hello YouTube, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story is big news from the world of medicine. Scientists in New York have successfully created cloned human embryonic stem cells for the first time. Human skin cells were fused with unfertilized egg cells, and when the egg's chromosomes were removed, it started dividing using the skin cell's DNA. Unfortunately, the cloned egg doesn't develop very far, meaning stem cells couldn't be extracted. However, it was discovered that some clones continue developing to the blastocyst stage if the original egg DNA is not removed. The stem cells harvested from these blastocysts couldn't be used therapeutically due to the extra chromosomes. The next stage of the research is finding a way to get to that stage of development without needing the egg's DNA. Already they're looking into certain growth factors and even just using a different cell type in the cloning process. Even if it's not viable right now, it's still a major breakthrough in stem cell research and medicine as a whole. Also exciting news from the field of material science a team at the National University of Singapore have developed a power storage membrane. This flexible polystyrene-based polymer not only has a greater storage capacity than conventional batteries, but it's also cheaper to produce. An average liquid electrolyte battery costs about $7 US to store each farad, whereas the membrane costs only $0.62 cents per farad. One promising application for this is integrating the material into solar panels and wind turbines, allowing for immediate power storage and more efficient energy capture. And the hope is that this membrane will improve most electronic devices, including hybrid cars. And neuroscientists from the University of Buffalo are testing magnetic nanoparticles as a method of brain stimulation. It works by first genetically modifying certain neurons to produce a new ion channel protein that these magnetic particles latch onto. When an alternating magnetic field is applied, a tiny amount of heat is generated from particle movement. This causes the ion channel to open, firing the targeted neuron. This will be a valuable tool for learning about the brain allowing for highly targeted experiments. One tremendous advantage is the ability to stimulate neurons without drilling into the skull. This magnetic method has a wide range of research and even potential therapeutic applications. Our final story comes from the world of evolution. A study done by multiple universities suggests that the last universal common ancestor of all life may be more complex than we thought. The reason for this is that after much research, it has been determined that bacteria and other microbes have an organelle. It's a simple phosphate storage site known as an acidic allosome, found in every domain of life. This universal organelle suggests that LUCA was rather complex before the three branches of life diverged. Analyzing the genes involved with this organelle provided even more evidence. Comparing those genes from a variety of organisms resulted in a rough version of the conventional tree of life. This implies that LUCA may have been more complex than even some contemporary bacteria. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.